Hi, I'm Annie Fries from The Following, and you're watching TVGuide.com. In episode 11 of The Following, um, we make our way to Manhattan very briefly, and then find our way uh, even further, but continue, um, continuing in, in New York. So we're kind of slowly but surely honing in on the location of the cult house um, and Joe Carroll's followers. One aspect of it is that we now know that Claire is at the cult house, so um, the intensity of, of our need to find them is amped up. Killing has to stop. Don't you want to see Joey? Take me to my son. I think it's an incredibly powerful choice that that she makes in that moment. And in terms of finding them, yeah, you could say maybe it, it could be helpful. <laughs> it could, it, there's the potential there. I don't understand why no one can find him. I mean, how does the cult of killers stay hidden this long? His followers have proven to be sophisticated. Their tactical skills, cyber invasion, they're on a terrorist level. You have a really tricky thing here in that you've got this guy, Joe Carroll, who has a network of followers, and we don't know the um, breadth of his network. Um, so I feel like what's, what's happened for us on the FBI team. Um, you know, initially we really thought it was the group at the farmhouse and we had no reason to believe that it was more than them. Our first inkling that it was more than them was as we like came in on the farmhouse and in fact they'd infiltrated not only the police but SWAT as well. So their skill set is so much higher than we ever um, anticipated, or, that, or I should say that we initially anticipated. It's not until then that we realized that they actually have um, tactical training, that they, I think actually it's right around now that we start to understand where some of that tactical training is coming from. I run the Bureau's Alternative Religion Unit. Did I not mention that? Cults, my specialty. I think Parker, before coming to the FBI, um, spent a lot of time like recovering from being in a cult. Um, I think that she did a lot of work on herself and in the end that going, she's the type of person who is gonna walk into the fire as opposed to um, leave it behind. And that in the end, the choice to be um, in the FBI, the choice to uh, make cults her especially or alternative religion has to do with like a continuing of that healing process and of trying to help people like herself and actually her family members. I mean, I think that's probably what she isn't saying is that, you know, there's like an attempt to save the people from her past. Every time we think that we have, and I think this goes for the audience too, every time we think we have figured out like what Joe's goal is, um, it's, it's actually not that. Um, and that continues to be true up to the very last episode of the show. <laughs>